more than 1,000 friends and pupils of Father Harold Naylor paid tribute on Thursday to the Irish Jesuit who co-founded Hong Kong's first conservation group 50 years ago and ran a club for poor boys for a quarter of a century. Rev. Michael Young Mingchung, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese in Hong Kong, presided over the funeral mass at St. Ignatius Chapel at Wai Yan College, Kowloon, in Yao Mate. The bishop praised Naylor as a friend who cared about the city, adding that he had been tasked to found the Hong Kong Catholic Social Communications Office in 1981, when Hong Kongers began to debate the city's future and all eyes were on the diocese's stance. I have known Father Naylor since then. At the time I kept close contact with the media, particularly the South China Morning Post, Young said. My remarks were quoted in reports of the Post nearly every two days. Father Naylor sent me every report in the Post which cited my remarks. He made highlights with sign pens in different colors, including those of my remarks he deemed not that good. Naylor died last Thursday at the age of 87. Francis Yuen Tin Fan, one of Hong Kong's best-known figures in stock market and financial circles, Civic Party Chairman Alan Leong Cockett and former Communications Authority Chairman Ambrose Ho Puy Ham were among the former pupils who attended the funeral mass. Born in Damascus, Syria, in 1931, Naylor came to Hong Kong in 1960 and taught at Wai Yan College from 1967. In 1968, he joined Lindsay Ride, former Vice Chancellor at the University of Hong Kong, and Dr. Robert Rain, Vice President of Chung Kai College, to found the Conservancy Association, the city's first green group. Father Harold Naylor, Jesuit teacher, dies at 87 a supporter of democratization in Hong Kong. Naylor spoke at a forum in 1987 to advocate direct elections to the Legislative Council the following year. He operated the Poor Boys Club, which was later renamed the Yan Children's Club, from 1972 to 1997. The now-defunct club served youngsters from Yo Mate, Sim Sha Sui and Mong Kok. Naylor wrote in his memoir, which was published online, that it was like a night school for street children, with games and activities. There was a bowl of noodles at 7 p.m. and rudimentary teaching of Chinese, English and maths until 9 p.m. Those who came regularly were awarded every week with a bag of uncooked noodles and a tin of cooking oil, from American Relief Services, to take back to their mothers. Billy Wong Holung, an alumnus of Yan College, Kowloon who graduated in 1992 and a former student tutor at the club, said Naylor gave them a free hand in running the club. Father Naylor taught us a simple creep, fun without fun, Wong said. Father Stephen Chow Sao Yan, head of the Chinese province of the Society of Jesus in Hong Kong, said that as environmentalist, Naylor frowned upon people driving private cars, so much so that he often stopped parents from driving their kids to the school. Naylor left his remains to HKU for medical studies. The long list of his pupils at the college includes lawmaker James Takun's son, Secretary for Security John Lee Ka Chu and Secretary for Education Kevin Young Yun Hung.